Hi, so today I want to show you how to model a soda can in Maya using Maya 2018. Uh, before I move, move on and start showing you how to do it, uh, I want to say that if you're using an older version of Maya, you can pretty much follow this tutorial. A lot of the tools that I'm going to use are you can get access to in the earlier versions of Maya. So let's go ahead and start. What we want to do usually when you make a 3D model, you always, always have to find a reference image. So make sure you go to like Google and look for soda can and then look for soda can top. So get uh, get an image for the uh, for front view of the soda and the top view of the soda. So let's get started. So in Maya 2018, what you want to do is you want to import the image as a reference. So I'm going to press the space bar and I'm going to go to my front view, which is right here. This is my front view. So I'm going to get my frontal view image of the soda on this view, in this window. So if you go to view, image plane, and then you can import that image. So as you can see now, the image is uh, in our front view and in our perspective view, which is this one, you can see that it's right here. Now, one thing that we want to do is I'm going to uh, press the W key so that I can uh, show the move tool with the arrows and stuff and I'm going to click on the blue arrow and just gonna move it back here the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want it to be on the way because when I make the model it's gonna show up here and I don't want I don't want the image to get in the way another thing I'm gonna do is I want to reduce the brightness or the opacity of the image so it doesn't get in my way when I'm modeling so to do that uh, make sure that the channel box is open if it's not open press the control A on your keyboard and it's going to show up and under image plane right here you want to go to where it says alpha gain set to like 0.3 and as you can see now the image is a lot you know it's not as bright so i'm going to show you how to make this soda can using the uh, curves tool so there's many ways when you're making a 3d model there are many ways to make things. There are many ways and there are many tools and techniques that you can use. Uh, for example, I have another video where I show you how to make the soda can using a completely different technique, but you get the same result at the end. So yeah, if you're interested in that video, you can click on the, on the video description below and just follow that video. So what I want to do is I'm going to use curves to make this model. And I want to be in my front view, so I'm going to press the space bar here to increase the size of my view. So what you want to do is you want to go to create and click where it says curve tools. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different ones, but for this case, we just want to use the CV curve tool. So click on that and now our tool is active. So we want to get really close here, so I'm using the middle mouse button just dragging in to zoom and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the outline of our object here so I'm going to click here at the top so click once I'm going to click make another click here let's see maybe right here and then just start to you know, just make a few clicks basically to just kind of uh, draw the outline of this guy. So all the way to here. So we don't want to we don't want to do the whole thing. We just want to do you know the side. So when you're done, what you do is you press the Enter key on your keyboard, and now you can see that there's the uh, outline. And if you wanna if you wanna adjust it a little bit, what you can do is hold down right click and then just go to control vertex and then drag on it and then press W and then just you could just kind of move this guy around. So mine's pretty close to the oops. Mine's pretty close to the actual shape. And it's just a little bit off. So there we have it. So now I'm going to hold down uh, right click and go to object mode. So press 
press the space bar and you can see in my perspective view we have now you we have that line we have the that line that follows the uh, the image that we have so now we're going to use that and we're going to make make it into 3d and to do that we're going to go to uh, surfaces and where it says revolve so just click on that and voila we have a freaking 3d model made for us all we have to do was you know make a few lines so under the uh, again under the channel box we have inputs and there's a revolve one and as we can see by default it's already set up so that it sweeps 360 so it goes we have our line and it goes in a 360 fashion all the way around so if we were to set this lower like 270 now we don't get the whole thing right whoops so we do want that to go 360 because we want it to go all the way uh sections basically you can increase the uh, poly count or how round this thing is i'm gonna leave it Save it to like 20. That should be fine. It's just a soda. We don't need it to be high poly. Unless we're making a commercial or something. So that's basically all you need with the options. Uh, you may notice that obviously this is this is black. I don't know why it got so dark. And the inside looks fine. Uh, there's a quick fix for this. Uh, if we have the thing selected and go to mesh display and reverse. So in my case it didn't work so what i'll do is reverse is not working for me and i know why this is the reason for that is because you know i just made a mistake i just i just told you to do the uh surfaces and revolve but we actually want to do more than just that so let's close that i thought my settings were already set up so i'm going to delete this guy and let's redo it this time we're going to do it right so let's go back to surfaces well, but this time we're going to click on this box next to it. And the thing that we did, the the issue that I just had was because my model was set to output as a NURPS object. And we want it to be a polygons object. We also want this to be a quad, not triangles. Let's just set it to general. And I think everything else is fine. So apply that and close this. So now we got this and you may be thinking, well, this looks awful. This is not, this is, the other thing looks better than this. Uh, that's, the reason for that is because we have to change a few objects. So if we go to the NURBS Desolate this time, what we want to do is we want to increase the U number and the V number. So if we set this to like 10 and this to like 10. So now you see we get the shape back. I think I had it to 20 before. And this one doesn't need to be 10. This one can be can be 20 as well. Or actually, it can be more because we, we need more details up here. Let's go crazy and do 50. And if we want this to be rounder, you can increase this as well. So this is really high poly, I know, but uh, we're just making this so that we know how to make the model. We can optimize this thing later. So again, we end up with the same thing that we had earlier, which is, you know, it's dark from outside and it's, it looks fine inside. So to fix that, now we go to mesh display and then click on reverse. And now it looks cool. Uh, the reason for that is because now this is a polygon object instead of a NURBS object, which does do behave differently. So now that we have our object, uh, you may be thinking, well, yeah, we got the shape. But this thing is like, it has a hole, you know, we want that to be closed. So let's close that. So I'm going to hold down right click and go to edge mode. Let's close the bottom first. So just click on one edge and go to mesh tools. Actually, in this case it's an edit mesh tool. Actually, no, it was in mesh, in the mesh menu. I'm not sure why they have so many mesh menus. They, they should just have everything in one. But it's in the mesh menu and we're looking for fill hole so click on that 
and voila, we, we close down that hole. One thing that we, we want to fix is that we want to make sure that our edges go all the way. So I'm going to hold down right click and press and go to face and select this guy. And now we want to go to edit mesh, uh, poke, and that makes it so that our edges go all the way. Cool. So now let's do the same with the top. Let's fix the top. So select match, click on it, go to mesh, and fill a hole. Now let's go uh, hold on right click and go to face, select top one, go to edit mesh, and poke. So now we have our object and it's closed, it's no longer open. So no, we're, we're, we're getting really close to finishing this guy. So now what we want to do is we just want to get the, the top part done. So let's import our image from the top. So if we go to view, image plane and import. So here's the image and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other guy uh, and scale and uh, reduce the brightness. So let's go to 0 0.5. Let's do 0 0.3 instead. And select it. I'm going to press W and move this guy down so that it's not in the way. And here in my top view, I'm going to press the R key and scale this guy down. So maybe there. Okay. So that's our model. So now what we want to do is we want to add uh, more geometry to the top so that we can shape it a little bit more because the soda is usually not flat at the top. So to do that, go to face mode. And I'm going to deselect these guys just to show you something. Uh, we want to select all these faces. So you can do them, you know, one by one. Or in my case, what I want to do is I'm going to, I want to go to my uh, front view. And what I'm going to do is make sure you're in face mode. So right click and go to face. And just drag from the outside and select these guys. So now we have the top selected, but I don't I don't want the ones on the side to be selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and you see the minus sign there and drag on these guys. So now we have those guys selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit mesh and use the connect tool. So that created uh, more geometry that I can work with. Obviously, this is not enough geometry for me to work with. I need more than this. So what I'll do is I'm going to add an edge loop. So using the edit mesh, I choose under mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. And make sure you click on an edge. Don't click on the middle. So let's click on this guy. Uh, maybe around here. Press Whenever you want to exit a tool, make sure you press the Q button on your keyboard. Also, I realized that my image is a lot smaller than it should be. So let me select it and press the R key and scale this guy just a little bit more. Okay, so now I want to, I want to make sure that this is not flat at the top. So let's go to face mode, select faces. And now let's let's do the same thing that we did earlier uh, and select our faces from here, hold down control and then deselect these guys. But now what I don't want, I don't want I don't want these guys selected. So I'm going to hold down control, click on one guy and then double click the one next to it. And as you can see, it deselects the entire loop, which is pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, mesh, I mean edit mesh extrude tool and what i want to do is i want to use the thickness and set this to like maybe negative 0.02 okay and then i think i think that's good yeah i think that's good for me uh press q and now what i want to i want to do is deselect these guys so hold down control and double click that one next to it so that is selects the loop Press the W key and just move this guy down just a little bit. And also, we create that like inside 
of the soda thing. And what I'll do is I'm going to scale, so I'm going to press R here. And maybe just like right here. Probably need to go up a little bit. So I think that looks good. And what I'll do is I'm going to use that extrude tool again. So go to edit mesh and extrude. And now instead of using the settings, what I'll do is I'll do it here in the viewport. So I'm just going to use the arrow up a little bit. Click on the cube and use the one in the middle bit to scale it. Now press Q to exit and there you go guys. We have a freaking soda can done. So that was pretty easy. How long did it take us? It took, it took us like 15 minutes just to make a soda can. And obviously we were doing it pretty slowly. But imagine if you were doing this, uh, you know, if you knew what you were doing, you could get this done in like three minutes really quickly. Uh, so again, let's uh, let's just follow some of the steps that we did. We just started with the with using the CV curve tool just to uh, trace on our image, and then we just used the revolve tool to get the uh, to get the shape basically. Uh, we closed it and then just added more geometry to work with. And if you're interested in watching my other video on how to make the soda can using a totally different technique, uh, that, and again, again, there's a there's a, it's in the video description. So if you made it this far, just comment in the comment section below. You know, just say I made it. As exclamation mark, of course. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.